we got some lit news. Phil Spencer just made a bold statement for the Xbox Series X. The PlayStation 5 reveal date has been leaked. Google Stadia had an event. You want to know what they talked about? Find out. And a dope, dope Xbox exclusive just launched and is getting great reviews. Video, let's start. That's right, what's up? All right. Before we get started with this video you know what you gotta do give it a thumbs up man we hitting you with the flames bro. all right philly boy has come out and made a bold statement about the xbox series x bill spencer on twitter he said and i quote in my view the feel of games this upcoming generation will change as dramatically as any since 2D to 3D, given CPU upgrade, DLI, memory bandwidth, and SSD. Bro, he said our gaming experience, the feel, what you're going to experience in video gaming this generation is going to be as big as the generation from 2D to 3D. Phil Spencer, do you know what you just said, bro? Bro, I remember as a kid <coughs> playing Super Mario World. I was like, man, this is lit, bro. This is way better than Mario 3. But in a way, it felt like Mario 3. It did, bro. You jump in. You side scrolling, but when I went, when it went from Mario 3D World to this, to this, <laughs> this was the biggest leap in gaming. This generation, from the Super Nintendo to the Nintendo 64, was the biggest leap in gaming, bro. The game completely changed, bro. Phil Spencer is saying the leap from the current generation that we're playing in going to, to the Xbox Series X is going to be as big as a leap from 2D to 3D. I really have to experience these games, bro. So much stuff. The ray tracing... I just read of a new Xbox feature with the latency on the controller and the input. So much stuff. The memory bandwidth, the CPU, the increased CPU that um, the Xbox Series X has to offer. I want to see these are some bold statements by Phil Spencer. But so far, so good. The specs on sheet looks dope. Um, we're just waiting for the games. There is a big rumor <coughs> that May, in May, we're going to get an Xbox Series X um, full hardware revealed with some game teasers. But speaking of May reveals, it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, for the PlayStation fans that's been in a drought for the past year, if I think two exclusives, Sony been tripping this last year, bro. They've been just quiet. <coughs> but all of that might change. The official PlayStation magazine is listing that they're going to have PlayStation 5 game reveals in their next issue at the end of May. Leading many to say sometime before because it would be late bro sony's been having missteps 
If Sony reveals their new games in a magazine with still images, that's going to be lame. And so, because the official PlayStation magazine is saying they're going to have these game reveals in their issue at the end of May, many are saying sometime before May, the end of May, Sony's going to have exclusive PlayStation 5 game reveals. We're going to get some kind of official, proper PlayStation 5 introduction in May. It makes sense. Are we going to get a pre-E3? Even though there's no E3 this year? <laughs> oh man, RP E3. Well, I don't really care about E3. As long as we get, they do that. Because Microsoft didn't do E3 last year. Their event was around the same time as E3. But it was a separate event. And I think they're going to do the same thing this year. An exclusive, uh, a separate digital event. That's all we want. Nintendo's been doing it. Let's go get it. And so, we want to see games, games, games. It would be dope and it would make sense for both companies to have proper hardware reveals in May and then talk about the games in June. I'm just saying, that makes perfect sense. Speaking of games, oh, we just segueing into each news item. Bro, Google Stadia had a, a Nintendo Direct type event, bro. It was called Google Connect. I didn't feel like streaming it. That's why you didn't see it on the channel. But <coughs> some, I don't even want to say dope announcements. Some pretty interesting announcements. Um, well, big one was PUBG. PUBG launched on Google Stadia today. And Crossplay. With Crossplay, that's dope. PUBG's an old game. And also, they have a partnership with EA. They announced a new partnership with EA. Jedi Fallen Order is coming in the fall. Madden will be coming to Google Stadia. FIFA is coming to Google Stadia. Those are big sports games, bro. But if you're a console gamer, I still don't have the incentive, bro, to go to Stadia. All the games that y'all are getting is already out on other platforms and with no streaming latency. I don't see why, bro. I told y'all, man. I'm waiting for... Um, um, X Cloud, X Cloud. I don't even know if it's gonna, if if I'm gonna wait for X Cloud to, to come to iPhone. Might hop on an Android device, bro, um, because I could stream my games, and I already have my software library. Because I'm a um, Game Pass Ultimate subscriber, bro. So it's a no-brainer for me to go to X Cloud instead of um, Google Stadia. But Google tried, bro. They tried, bro. All right, last news item: Gears Tactics has launched on pc game pass on pc and on pc and it's getting great reviews the game is getting great reviews it is more of a tactical top-down strategy gears of war type games it looks interesting they did also announce <coughs> they also did announce that it will be coming to console on twitter i saw it on twitter an official microsoft account did say that it will be coming to console I don't know if it's later this year, I forget when, but it is. They are planning for it to come to console with some major adjustments so it'll be suitable for console and not mouse and keyboard. All right, dudes, that's everything for this news, bro. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bruh. Oh, I still have my bro from my last videos. <laughs> I forgot. I had the new day. I was talking about that new WWE game click that subscribe button stay up to date all oh, things gaming bro we are money you still watching this video that means you like me you really like me i gotta hook you up that's right i'm giving away a 60 dollar digital code every month for your platform of choice xbox nintendo or playstation two ways to enter one make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on youtube two follow me on twitter at obi one plays and that's it you're in for the giveaway but wait there's more do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy Be 
become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces. Thank you.